The WordPress video block makes it easy to upload and add videos to your pages and posts. To add the video block to your post or page, simply press the add block button, type in video and select the first option. Now from here, we have the option to either upload a video file, pick one from the media library or add one with a URL. If you enter a URL that's from a source such as YouTube or Vimeo, the block will automatically be converted to that type of block because YouTube and Vimeo have their own block. So just keep that in mind. This video player includes all the basic playback options, including play pause buttons, a progress bar, audio, full screen, download, and picture in picture buttons. And if you're not familiar, the picture in picture places the video in the lower right corner so it could play while the user scrolls through your website. We also have the option to add a caption underneath the video. So real quick, let's cover some options. If we press on the video, the toolbar up here at the top will appear. This first option lets us transform to columns, which places the block within columns, file, which changes the video to a button with a caption, allowing the user to download the video instead of playing it from the website. Then group adds the block to a group, so you can adjust them as a single block. Media and text adds text beside the media, creating two columns. And finally, cover. This places a caption over the video. Then we have the drag and move tools, change alignment, and text tracks. Text tracks shows subtitles and captions when the video is playing. They're formatted as web video text tracks or VTT files. The files are loaded from your media library. As an example, I'll upload this sample.vtt file. The label is the title of the text track that the users will see. Source language is, of course, the language of the text track. And kind refers to the type of track that will display. Our options include subtitles, which is just translation of the dialogue. Captions, which is transcriptions of the dialogue, sound effects, music, etc. Descriptions is text that describes what's happening. Chapters are chapter titles for navigation. And metadata is data for JavaScript to use. And there we go. Our text track is now added. Replace will, of course, allow us to replace the video. The three dots at the end let us copy, duplicate, insert before and after, move to, edit as HTML, add to reusable blocks, group, and of course, remove block. But that's not it. We have more options available here by pressing the settings button at the top right. As you can see for video, there's a lot. So we have autoplay, which of course plays the video automatically. Loop, which plays the video in a continuous loop. Muted, which mutes the audio right out of the gate. Playback controls allows the viewer to actually control the video. Play in line plays the video within the elements playback area. Preload, which we have three different options, auto, metadata, and none. This sets how much of the video is downloaded when the page is loaded. Auto, the entire video. Metadata, only the basic information, or none. Nothing is downloaded automatically. Poster image is like a thumbnail. It lets you replace the screenshot from the first frame of the video with a featured image. And of course, our advanced settings, as always, we have HTML anchor and additional CSS classes. So HTML anchor will let you specify the text to use as a custom URL for this specific block. And additional CSS classes provides a field to add any CSS classes you want to use for this block. So if we preview and start playing, we could actually turn on our captions here from our VTT file. And there we go. Super simple and easy. Be sure to check out our other WordPress block videos. We're covering everything from the YouTube and Vimeo embed all the way to separators, so on and so forth. So definitely go check those out. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.